On today's episode of Homeworthy, you're going to see a chic New York City apartment that is light and airy, but was once full of mismatched furniture of the wrong proportion. With many DIY projects, this 450 square foot rental apartment has been transformed into quite the beauty. Enjoy! You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Like and subscribe for more. Hi Homeworthy, I am Carly. Welcome to my 450 square feet rental apartment. Come on in. Hello, I am Carly Fuller and we are in my Hell's Kitchen apartment, which is 450 square feet on the fifth floor of a walk up. It's three rooms, the kitchen bedroom and our little living room. A walk up means <laughs> there's no elevator, so we get a serious workout in every single time <laughs> we come home. I live here with my fiance um, and we have completely outgrown this apartment. We're definitely the oldest ones in this building at this point. There was a sign on our neighbor's door saying happy 22nd birthday. We're 34 and 33. Um, but we've lived here for so long that it's just become our home and it's really hard to think about leaving. Of course I search for new apartments all the time, something bigger with um, better amenities. But oh, moving is such a hassle and it really is home at this point so I don't see us moving anytime soon. We've been here for about six years. I've been here for a little bit longer. I lived here with a roommate. Um, I found her on Craigslist. I don't know if anyone uses Craigslist anymore, but I found her on Craigslist and she was already here. So I work for a few different designers, um, some home stages and interior designers, and I love it. I love being all over the city in different neighborhoods and seeing like these really cool apartments from the worst to the best. Um, oh, I just, I love being out and about. I don't think I could be someone who works from home, which is a good thing because our apartment is very small. So we don't, it's, we don't really spend that much time in here. So it works out. When you enter our apartment, you're immediately in the kitchen, which is the center of our apartment. And it's where we spend the most amount of time. It's our everything room. We don't have an entryway, unfortunately, so I've had to create one kind of on this corner. This is a shoe cabinet, and I have hooks in the, in the hallway. Um, I have a little seating moment over here, since we do spend the most amount of time here. I used to have one chair for so many years, and we would fight over it. So I finally got another one. They are from Zara, um, and I love them. And then I've kind of just grounded this space with a faux cowhide rug, because it felt like everything was floating, and now it just kind of makes it its own little corner. And I recently just got these from the floral district. This is just for you. Um, I was carrying this on the subway, it was really funny. Um, okay, so our shoes are in here. Hopefully it doesn't look like a shoe cabinet. I got this second hand and actually sanded it down on my roof. It was a disaster at first, but I, I really love how it came out and it took me all weekend, like Saturday and Sunday before a neighbor finally yelled out his window to shut the something up because I was making so much noise with the sander. Um, and then I just have the mirror here to make it kind of an entryway and a big fat bowl, which is like a catch-all bowl. And we just needed something to keep this area clutter-free. You're always walking in the door with things in your hands. So at the moment, I mean, there's chargers, hair clips and receipts and random things like that. This is the kitchen. Um, I had to add, well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to, I added this island here. It's from Wayfair, but I found it secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. It was fully built. So Martin and I, who is my fiance, had to wheel it up 10th Avenue for about 10 blocks and then get it up these five flights of stairs. And when it, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do living here. People have asked like, what's the hardest thing? That was the hardest thing. I, I was no help at all. I don't know how we even got it up here. It was all him. But anyway, um, it is where we eat. I don't really, 
I don't cook that much, but um, it's obviously extra countertop space and then more storage space as well, which is great. Um, I have peel and stick marble paper on them. Um, I wanted to do it on both so they match. And I love peel and stick paper. It is a bit annoying to work with, but once it's on, it's not going anywhere and it's such a great rental hack. Um, this is new. <laughs> um, okay, so I had the worst, most disgusting chipped sink for all of my six years of living here. And I finally convinced my landlord to get me a new one, but even better, I was able to pick out what I wanted within his budget. So I found this brass faucet from Home Depot and this porcelain sink, which is the exact same as what was here before, because I didn't want to mess with like trying to find the exact same sink. So it's the exact same one. This is wallpaper over black tile. I really wanted to brighten up the space. It, it was just so much black, it goes all the way up to the ceiling. I covered it in wallpaper um, and it's like a beadboard patterned wallpaper and I don't, it's not a complete success because you can see the tile through but I prefer it so much more than the black tile that was here. I have these um, cabinet pulls from, I got them on eBay and they're just vintage and I loved them. But we only have the one hole and I just thought let's see if I can get away with just doing that anyway and it actually works it doesn't this is probably the most loose one they don't really move they're, they're very secure so um, anyway that's that <laughs> and then I have this really old terrible fridge that I cover with photos of friends and family and I know it looks messy but this is how the fridges in my grandparents and my home in England looked and I just feel like this is just so cozy and homey to me. Um, and then a microwave on top because there's nowhere else for it to go. Um, over here I have some shelves. People ask me about them all the time. They must look nicer than they actually are but they're just pieces of scrap wood um, that I painted the same as the wall and got these brackets from Home Depot. I think they were like six four, five, six dollars or something and I um, painted them gold to make them look nicer. On these shelves are like coffee and tea mugs. I have some tea here. I actually need to get some more because I ran out of my peppermint recently and that's my favorite. Um, yeah, we, we drink tea and coffee, well mostly tea all day long so we needed a little tea area. It, it is so British to drink tea but they drink a lot of black tea with milk and I I'm drinking more like herbal teas. No, they drink all teas, but you can't go to a home in England and not be offered tea, and it's usually black tea with milk and or sugar. <laughs> um, over here is a very recent DIY. We used to have a gold shelf propped in this little nook, which was fine, but I really wanted to elevate things um, and so we built these recently and when I say we I mean Martin because I probably did the first two and I started losing it I couldn't I couldn't finish um, th Things weren't adding up. So he came in and saved the day um, Again, these are just pieces of scrap wood from a lumber store cl Very close to us and I painted them the same. Oh, I should mention the lumber store made all the cuts for us which was so good because um, we only have some hand saws and that would have taken forever. Um, and we, I painted them the same as the wall color, which is Benjamin Moore Sea Pearl, which is a gorgeous, it's supposed to be like a warm off-white color, but it definitely changes depending on the lighting at the moment. It's probably reading quite cool because it's a little bit dim in here right now. Um, but this is a bar area. so. I was about to say we love to make cocktails, but we don't make that many cocktails. We actually just choose to eat and drink out because we live in New York City, like how can you not? But it's nice to think that if we wanted a cocktail or if a friend came over, we can make them one. Um, and really it's just here for show because I love glassware and I love like vintage pieces. Um, some of these things are from my grandparents' house. This is um, a light switch that I got from uh, Amazon actually and it kind of looks like a doorbell you know like one of those things like press for champagne so I love that 
Um, and I recently came home from Mexico with a couple pieces. So it's kind of just like a collected area of glassware and pieces that I'm finding in vintage stores or vacations. I have this disco ball here. Um, and it just sits here for now, but when the sun comes through the kitchen window, I love to like put it in the light and it makes all these, um, it makes the room look so pretty. So I have two of these in our apartment. It's so random, but I love it. It's a framed brick feature wall, I suppose. It's also in the bedroom. Um, I really don't know what the story is behind it, but in the other apartments below us, the entire wall is brick. But for some reason, the landlord decided to just do this little framing moment, and I love it. Um, it wasn't always this color. Don't be mad at me, but I did spackle over the red brick. People see that as such a crime, but like people do it all the time. Um, and the frame used to be gold, and I just kind of wanted it to, to look I don't know, just more calming. We are lucky enough to have these hardwired sconces and they used to match the chandelier, which sounds like it would be nice, but they were really gaudy looking. Um, so I switched them out for something a little bit more modern and spackled over them because I just love things with texture. Um, this chandelier, it wasn't always a pretty gold it was more like a red bronze and it was missing it was missing a lot of crystals so I added more I just found them on Amazon they're not crystals they're just kind of like glass uh, teardrops and I used rub and buff to kind of bring it back to life I'm so lucky to have these skylights in here they just produce so much light without them this apartment would really be like a, a dark hole <laughs> People ask me what my style is called all the time and I honestly don't know. Um, words I would use is, hopefully it comes across this way, um, sophisticated, relaxed, um, calming, um, light and airy. <laughs> I don't know what style that is, maybe you can tell me, but I love natural materials. I love glass and um, marble and earthy tones. People think this is a pantry, it's not, unfortunately. This is where all of our <laughs> tools are. Um, my fiance is a real estate investor, but while he's here in New York City, he is a handyman. So I lost out on all this closet space for tools, but it's great because I do so many DIYs and he helps me and we, we rarely have to buy anything new. I am from England, the southeast of England, and I came here to help my cousin and babysit her kids because her nanny was leaving and she was begging me for like a year and I was like, no, why would I do that? That's, I don't want to babysit kids. But I thought it would be a great experience. Um, so I thought I was coming here temporarily, maybe a year max, and I ended up staying for, it's now, 11 and a half years. Um, I just, well, I wanted more money, first of all. So she was paying me a little bit, but I wanted more money. So I found a job in a bar, made great money working in bars, met so many friends, uh, met my fiance, and this is just now where my life is. And I could not imagine living anywhere else. Like, I just love this city so much. It's my favorite place in the world. Living in a small space is not easy, but after doing it for so long, I've lived here for 11 years and I've always been in small spaces. And I've learnt, which no one wants to hear, is that you cannot keep all of the things that you want. You have to live minimally. Um, I don't own that many clothes or beauty products. Um, if I don't use it, I don't keep it. Even when it comes to decorating and decor, if I don't like something anymore, I'll sell it on Facebook Marketplace because I just don't have the room to keep it. But staying organized, yes, it's hard. I store a lot of things under my bed and under this futon. So in small spaces, always buy furniture with height and maybe drawer space. If you're gonna get nightstands, don't just get a table, get something with drawers or just some type of storage involved. It's all about using multi-purpose furniture. Um, yeah, 
I use, I, I hide everything in every nook and cranny that I can find. Welcome to our bedroom. This is our brightest room in the apartment because we have these two big windows um, and I have framed them with floor to ceiling length curtains to really accentuate the height in here and make, make it feel more elegant. And then I have them pooling on the floor as well because I, I think it looks romantic. Over here is our dresser. I've had this for so long, um, but this holds m all of Martin's clothes. He has a few pieces in the closet, but that's mainly for my stuff. Um, and then on top, on this wall again, is the framed brick square. Behind me is where we keep our laundry and just like hoodies on hooks and stuff. It's really boring. Coming over this way is my little vanity nook. This is where I do my makeup every single morning or most mornings. Um, and then I have this big olive tree here to kind of keep, I don't know, kind of separate it. And then the pendant light as well above. It's just a plug-in, but it helps ground the space as its own. Um, a lot of people ask me about the shelf on the radiator. Um, we don't turn this radiator on because this apartment gets so hot with the heat on, so it's just off all the time, which means I can lean that shelf right there, and that's obviously where my makeup is. Behind this frame is our AC unit. Da -da -da. Um, it's actually a really attractive air conditioner unit, but I just still think this looks better. We don't take our air conditioners out in the winter time because we just have nowhere to store them and it's such a hassle, so we just leave them in there and I make, I, I cover it with a frame. On these windows, I have put black electrical tape to make it look like a, the grid paneled window. I don't know if you can tell, but I think it looks quite good. Um, I loved that little hack. It was like the cheapest hack I've ever done. And then I have done a few DIYs in here because I'm all about budget friendly. Um, these pendant lights, I have copied ones that are ceramic on Etsy, but these are just made out of literally card paper and spackling and um, I have battery operated light bulbs. I have a remote for them um, but they also have a little switch and they can go dimmer if you want. I think that's so cute. Um, and then the nightstands too are a DIY. I used the Ikea Tava nightstand, um, stained it black and then I built the frame and stapled in the cane and attached the hinges to make a door. This wall paneling on in most of the rooms in our apartment is also in the hallway and in the living room and I just think it's such a nice way to add some visual interest without having to do too much because I do like an effortless relaxed look and I didn't want to go crazy with big pieces of bold art or gallery walls. I just wanted something subtle and I just think it adds just enough. This is my closet and some of Martin's stuff is in here too. It's very small, it's the only place we have to keep our clothes. In the top ones we keep our suitcases which at the moment has all of our summer clothes in and then when it becomes the summertime I put all of my winter clothes up there because we just don't have enough space. From the bedroom we're gonna walk back through the kitchen, down the hallway into our little movie room. So this is our little movie room. Um, it's more, it is our living room, but we call it our movie room because we don't really come in here until the evening. It's so tiny, it's, you can't really gather in here. It's very much just we're in here to watch TV. Um, again, I have the paneling on the wall because I, I didn't want a blank wall. I wanted something visually interesting, but I didn't want anything too bold. And I love how this came out again. Martin came through <laughs> and helped me on that. Um, in this corner over here, I thought it was the perfect opportunity for a pedestal. And Martin made that out of wood and I spackled over it. And then I wanted something with height to kind of help this room feel a little bit bigger and taller. I'm always trying to work vertically and use like the height of our room. Um, so, I wanted something green because I think greenery just adds so much freshness and life to a space. However, nothing would stay alive here. So I've made this out of real branches and fake artificial leaves. 
and I, I really like how it came out. I think it looks cute. I just used a glue gun to attach the fake leaves to these branches. Um, one, I, I had to actually stick two branches together because I, I took a branch from my grandparents' yard. They live upstate. And when I got back, I was like, no, this isn't big enough. So then I went to Central Park and I'm lit. This sounds really weird, but I know exactly where to look for branches. So I'm just walking through Central Park <laughs> with my branches. And um, yeah, so now these are two branches kind of glue gun together to make it extra tall. I have a dresser here because they are just the best for more storage. And in here we keep our extra linens. Um, actually in this top drawer is like our laptops and chargers and just like printer paper. I have to show you where the printer is actually. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna laugh. Um, and this is vintage from Apartment Deco. I think that's how you say it. It's Apt Deco. Um, and then above I have this piece of artwork but it's, I don't know if you can call it artwork because I made it myself out of Amazon boxes and paint mixed with baking soda, which gives you that texture. And then I just found um, some like wood to frame it in, frame, frame it from Home Depot. <laughs> um, and then I have these little branches here that I got from the flower district. And I don't know how long they're going to last. Here is our printer. We barely use it um, because we're not like corporate people and I barely have to print anything unless it's like a return. Um, so I kind of just, the door pops open like that and I don't even have to take it out from underneath this futon. I got this sheet from Etsy. I wanted to so something just to cover this. It's quite an ugly off beige futon, um, but I refuse to buy another one because it's perfectly fine so I just cover it with this sheet and I like that relaxed look um, and the reason we have a futon is because I would I just love to have our friends and family stay with us when they visit the city which is all the time because everyone wants to visit New York City <laughs> the room is so narrow that I didn't really have enough room for a proper like TV media console so I just thought this bench fit perfectly here um, and it could potentially be more seating if we were to have people over they could kind of I could pull it out and they could sit on it um, but I have these books underneath which is hiding the wi-fi box and some ugly wires this is our classic tiny little bathroom but we have a window which can be quite rare in New York City apartments and I'm really happy about that um, I haven't done a whole lot in here except put white stickers on the all black tile floor because um, just to give it that classic checkered floor look and I've painted this vanity white it used to be just an ugly veneer wood color oh and then I've just hung artwork with command strips and that's it home is your own safe space you can be your a hundred percent yourself it just feels like home. I think it's really important, even if you're in a rental place, even if you're living there for just a year, to really make it feel like your own. There's nothing better than coming home at the end of the day into your own sanctuary and feeling cozy. Like no matter what living situation you were in, just try to make it your own. And you're gonna be so happy coming home from work at the end of the day, like walking into what's yours. Thanks for watching. For more homeworthy content, be sure to like and subscribe.